People might suggest that Meghan Markle suffered enough. Yes, there are certain people out there that think that naturally. And naturally, Meghan herself does have her own batch of fans. They're not all, of course, just out for Prince Harry. But it's interesting to note, isn't it, the feedback that we get on certain individual item stories and, you know, no doubt some of the kickback that has happened ever since she decided to brand herself as a lifestyle queen for American Riviera, etc. Now, what's interesting here is, though, apparently, according to a source who's working very closely right now with Meghan, well, she's really upset and it's all down to a world famous historian, royal I might add, as ever let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today on the uh, rainy, windy banks of the River Thames. I've just turned it round so you can see it there. You see, grim and dark, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you know, look at it. It's not nice, is it? I just feel so sorry for people who've come uh, over to London, you know, for their holidays. And suddenly, you know, when you see them on those open top buses, they've got the ponchos on. <laughs> I just think, oh dear, it's not a great way of seeing our wonderful city, is it? But, you know, you can't bring in the weather. It doesn't matter wherever you are, doesn't it? If you are in London and you do see me out and about, we we are filming, should I say we, I am filming all across London every single day exclusively for you here. Do come up and say hello, don't be shy. And if I've got a bit of a tea left in my flask, I'll even let you have a bit of that. Now you can't say fairer than that, can you? Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Now I find this absolutely fascinating in many respects because Meghan Markle doesn't necessarily uh, give out any sort of info that she doesn't necessarily want you to know anything about. You get the picture. Everything's very carefully crafted. She's taken on two brand new publicity people that are supposed to be turning her image around but there are certain things that you can't control in this world of media tabloid media you know now what's interesting here is that so many people suggest that of course in the future Prince Harry would return back here to the United Kingdom essentially alone yes I know basically saying the marriage won't last all of that sort of stuff now, as we know they've been married a few years now and of course it's coming up to seven years next year so the seven year itch as they infamously said the brilliant movie of course by Billy Wilder starring Tommy Ewell and Marilyn Monroe but on a more serious note it's this you see a royal historian recently being interviewed on a digital platform has basically said that he predicts that Harry will return back but will be welcome back into the British monarchy but independently basically saying well you know he will return alone now that's a little unkind maybe to speculate on someone's marriage, state of affairs, and more importantly, you know, where they're going in their life. As we've told you before, you know, Prince Harry definitely wants a base over here in London. She doesn't want to come over here. And that's what I've been told. What she would think is he can have that time there. I'll have my time here. But to suggest, of course, that the marriage, well, won't end well is a bit of a bombshell. Now here's where it gets really interesting because according to that source, Meghan has been bereft of tears Years, breaking down can't believe that people will be willing that her marriage would fall apart a second marriage we might point out as well the first to Trevor Engelson you might say that he had a bit of a bad time also regarding Meghan and the way that she dumped him but just wanted the blender remember that so of course some people might suggest this is a little bit of karma but either way apparently to read this in print has set her back she's absolutely stunned can't believe that people would say so many cruel things about someone that's just simply trying to do her best bring up her two children and more importantly make her prince happy now the other side of it is this is all about spin and as you can imagine Meghan would not like these sort of stories coming out or going back it does seem a little bit harsh some people might suggest but either way, it's there in print, and the bottom line is, this royal historian truly believes it. Neil Sean in the very heart of London. And that is Big Ben. Not bad, eh?